Bebop RC YouTube channel. Welcome back to K-Pop RC, the channel where I make sick-ass replicas of sweet YouTubers' cars. If you're into RC cars at all, I highly recommend checking out a channel called K-Pop RC. In this series, we replicate Neighbor from Cletus McFarlane's YouTube channel. If you don't know who Cletus McFarlane is, have you been living under a rock? This dude has dominated the YouTube racing scene. Uh, not only is he a crazy uh, stick shift class drag racer, but he's also uh, a burnout king. Recently acquiring his very own race track, the Freedom Factory. And he's already started to drift. Insane driver. If you've been following him for a long time, you know that he's uh, he's got Leroy, the stripped out Corvette with the cage. That's so sweet. But on this episode, we're gonna go Crown Vic on it. And we're gonna make the uh, sweet neighbor. You got a name, Ed? Call it neighbor. Neighbor. Neighbors. Look at this, guys. The <laughs> freaking Crown Vic. The GT500 swapped. Crown Victoria cop car. Yeah. I don't know what it is about these things. They just are amazing. If you don't know who Cletus McFarlane is, go check him out. The links to all the YouTube videos that I have used in this video are below. And uh, go on there and let him know I sent you. Let him know K-pop RC sent you. Well, we're gonna do a burnout contest at least. Hell yeah, brother! All right, so the first thing we need is a Crown Victoria body. Unfortunately, RC companies don't really end up making domestic vehicles. Um, or if they do, they're not usually the ones that I'm looking for. So I had to search high and low for a Crown Victoria, and I found one. Dude, this thing runs like a dream. Damn, I'm pumped! I found some dude who uh, crudely made an STL file out of, um, I'm assuming, some kind of 3D rendering, because uh, it's a very poor, poor render, and it's a very poor uh, STL. So, I will also add the link down below if you want to print your own, but a uh, fair warning, uh, this particular model is not great. There are a lot of weird things about it. It does come with four different versions with the different thicknesses. However, the size of the STL is the same and you are gonna have to scale the wheelbase to, in order to make it fit your drift chassis, which was a pain in the ass in itself. The way that I did that was I um, went into SketchUp. Yeah, I'm using SketchUp, it's free and it will stay free. Not like, not like Fusion. Uh, so I'm just gonna stick with what I know. It's easy, I'm not a professional 3D modeler, so I'm gonna stick with SketchUp, it's easy. Anyway, so in order to scale this body, what I did was I made a rectangle, a rectangle in SketchUp that is the square wheelbase of my drift chassis. And I used that as a template to scale the body to make sure that it, that rectangle fits within the wheelbase. That was the first thing that I did. Then I had to cut up the body in order for it to fit onto my bed. This body is about almost twice as large as my printer can print, so I did split it up into three. Problem being is I did have a failed print and I had to figure out how I was going to continue printing from uh, the failure. I got a little lucky, it worked out, uh, and I didn't have enough white filament to start the print over again and the print did end up taking close to, I don't know, 50 hours. It was a 50 hour print. The girlfriend went away to Vancouver 
uh, and I just moved the printer into the living room and I printed uh, for 50 hours and I ended up with a fairly nice Crown Victoria. The camera hides a lot of the crimes. I can't believe I'm this excited about this, honestly. Dude, I'm so happy with this. This is the body here. You can see it, hopefully it's in focus. This is the body. Uh, I glued it together. I tried my best to glue it as well as I could, but there are definitely some lips in the PLA that I'm gonna have to, to fix and address. Let me know in the comments if you think that I should be really precious with this thing and I should use some kind of body filler to smooth out all of these uh, terrible, terrible 3D modeling issues. The guy that made this actually did a very, very poor job at uh, vectorizing um, the, the model. Uh, also, if you look on the inside of the body, um, on one side, there are no lips on the body, and on the other side, there are lips. Who knows why? Uh, this A-pillar here uh, on the inside has a cover. On this side, it does, it does not. So this is a very, very poor representation of the, the type of bodies that you can buy online for printing. not recommend you get this one. Hopefully somebody who uh, is very talented at this is watching this video and can design everybody a really nice one because I assure you people are going to be looking for it to print it because let's be real, uh, watching Neighbor drift around the Freedom Factory is pretty badass and also who the hell at your local drifting track has uh, a Crown Victoria um, Ford, you know? Nobody. Absolutely nobody. So this project pretty sweet now it's only up from here though we start low and we make this thing fast hell yeah brother a couple of things that this project is going to need it's going to need a uh, bull bar um, neighbor a little bit later on in neighbor's life after the swap, they put the bull bar back on. I don't think it's in a YouTube video of them actually doing it. I think it ended up showing up when they put their click patrol, click patrol livery on the side. Um, also when he got sent to the uh, police, the LED police bar that we will also be making. All right, so number one, bull bar. Number two, police siren on the top. That's gonna be key. Uh, the click patrol livery, that's also going to be key. You're gonna have to have the click patrol livery. That's that's uh, a must. Oh yeah. All right guys, so Jamie, Brent and I are about to put some stickers on the Crown Vic that I got from my friends at Redline Design in Tampa. Um, I like it because it, it kind of relates to my channel and what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to make clickbait. I'm trying to get you guys to uh, check out my projects. Uh, yeah, so looks pretty sweet and pretty ill. Uh, it's a little bit heavy. Uh, it's a lot heavier than a Lexan body, but whatever, so is Neighbor. Neighbor is probably four tons, three tons, whatever. Not a very, very light car to begin with. So whatever, let's go with it. Woo! There you go, first burnout. So let's recap, bull bar, uh, police lights, uh, click patrol livery, um, and then obviously, obviously this thing needs to smoke. It needs to smoke hard. This thing burns out like no other car. It needs to smoke the tires. There you go. That's how neighbor burns up a tire. So I'm assuming I'm gonna end up putting some kind of smoke, uh, some kind of smoke machine in the back to just sort of pour out smoke out the back. That's key. And of course with that, we're gonna also need to somehow lock the front wheels. The front wheels on the drift chassis are gonna have to get a brake, some kind of brake system that locks the front tires and allows um, the back to just peel out without too much traction. Leave me a comment below if you guys have any good ideas on how to lock the front tires. I'm assuming I'm gonna do a servo system that pulls two pins and locks the wheels. Problem being is when you steer, you know, we're dealing with uh, Ackerman. Ackerman means, you know, one tire is gonna turn a little bit more than the other, so you need to figure out exactly where that pin locks, whether it's the, um, through the knuckles, I don't know. I'm gonna have to figure something out. But I also want it to be able to turn still, like I still need it to have a little bit of control, it would be nice. 
if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. As long as I can lock the front tires, that would be great. The crazy supercharger sound. So we're gonna have to go somehow uh, a little Japanese style and we're gonna have to create some kind of, you know, hockey card in a, in a bicycle wheel kind of sound, some kind of V8. Uh, rumble would be amazing. It would be awesome if that was a separate unit in itself so that it could idle and it could do the, uh, the uh, you know, aggressive cam V8 uh, chug, you know, the rake, the rake sound. Um, that would be key. And then it would be awesome if it kind of had a little bit of a whine in the higher RPMs. Not sure how I'm gonna do that yet. I do have a very small little tiny uh, ESC and uh, brushless motor. I'm assuming if I put a little pinion on there with a little card, I can figure something out. And if I can maybe funnel that sound, I can maybe make it sound realistic. I am not using a speaker and a recorded audio sound that's cheating. I just don't think it's cool. And uh, I would much rather it be a mechanical sound than a just like a like a looped like a looped sound where you can hear the loop i hate that i hate that it sounds so bad i mean they're getting better and better but it still sounds like absolute garbage i'd rather hold i'd rather just drag a rake behind the car than use a speaker system next fire does this thing need some fire? I mean, fire is a little bit dangerous, but uh, I don't know. I think I've seen this car set its tires on fire a few times. Not only that, I've seen it set behind, you know, a forest behind the fence on fire as well. He's a savage! He's a savage! Okay, hey, stop, 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 fire. Fire extinguisher, fire extinguisher. Oh, God. Oh, God. Got so out of control. Does it have fire? I don't think it's gonna have real fire. I might end up using some NeoPixels. Check out my last episode to check out NeoPixels. M might be able to create some kind of a fiery sort of LED effect that kind of, you know, goes into the smoke around the tires. And hopefully that can kind of fake, fake the look of fire. So that's gonna be another thing on the list. Another thing to do is, do I open the hood? I'm gonna have to open the hood. I'm gonna have to cut the hood out of this and I'm gonna have to create some kind of engine bay supercharger look. Since before you is a 2007 GT500 and this thing only has 30,000 miles on it. Pulled down supercharger. That's gotta happen. So that needs to happen. Cause like, I mean, that's what Neighbor was all about is showing off that crazy engine swap that they did, that GT500 supercharger uh, engine in here. <laughs> the rear bumper. Cletus built a rear bumper, I'm assuming because he kept tapping, tapping the wall in burnout comp contests and it kept uh, pulling the bumper down and the bumper probably kept setting on fire. How's the body damage looking? Oh! Oh, my bumper! So he did create a metal type gantry along the back, which uh, would be super cool as well. All right, that's it. That's gonna be it. So um, this car has to drift. It has to drift. That's key. It needs to maybe go fast uh, in a straight line, maybe. Uh, and it definitely needs to burn out. So those are the three goals for this project. Hell yeah, brother. This is Officer Dangle, and we're late here to let her rip and her chip. It's that time to give away a set of sweet ass Recaro seats for your sweet scale ride, or put them on your desk, hang them off the rear view mirror, whatever. If you'd like to be considered for a set, leave me a comment below, sub to the channel, and maybe a pair will be yours. This episode's winner is 
10th scale garage. 10th scale, thanks for hanging on the live chat and being an overall great member of the RC community. All you dudes, don't forget to sub up to 10th Scale Garage's YouTube channel. The link is in the description. All right, guys, until next time, a dog eating me. <laughs> That's it for this episode of K-Pop RC. Hell yeah, brother. Don't forget to subscribe for more episodes of the Cletus McFarland replica build. Of course, leave me a comment below if you have any ideas on how to make this thing smoke, how to make this thing slide. Controls, right? That's it. Stay tuned for the next episode and uh, stay safe. K-pop out. <laughs>